Right. Uh, so with the uh, with this one, so we have just finished uh, list of all dictionaries and sets. And I think we can move to the next one, which is uh, basically file handling. Right. I actually I plan to start the next week, but let's start this week itself. Right. Okay. Uh, the file handling part. I just tried the heading file handling. Just write the heading file handling. The simplest, simplest way to save, the simplest way to save, the simplest way to save an output produced by a Python program is by using a, a file, by using a file. There are two types of files in, there are two file, type of files in computing environment. So I have explained this uh, previously also. Can you remember the two type of files? So number one is, in computing, there are two type of files. We discussed this in a red note, right? When we discuss in the red class, we discuss this. What is number one? First type is, yes. It's called text file. Text file, a file which has only letters, numbers, and readable symbols. It has letters, numbers, readable symbols. The second one is binary files. It has binary objects such as shapes, drugs, pictures, in addition to the text. Or oh, even excluding the text. With or without the text, it may have so we or without it may have text. So excluding the text, you will get binary objects such as graphics, uh, shapes, graph, pictures, music, music, those things. Okay, those are the two types of files available in. Uh, so available in computing, we are using those two files basically. And if it is a binary file. So you, you open the file and read the binary values, basically hexadecimal or uh, octal or hexadecimal, mostly hexadecimal representation of the binary value. You read like that. And if it is a, if it is a, a text file, so we read the characters. Okay, let me show the difference first. Let me show the fundamental difference between binary and text file. And I'm going to take a picture to explain this. I'm going to take a picture. Okay, let's take a picture of, so let's take a picture of this small part of this. Here you can see this is a picture. <laughs> At the same time, I'm going to save a text. I'm going to save a text using uh, this string and I'm going to erase this file, save as, I'm going to save this as, okay. Uh, 
file example py and inside i have text so that is print hello that is my text print hello that is my text Let's save this okay so you have two documents in the desktop now so one is this one and the second one is this one let me go to the desktop and rename this the first one i'm going to rename as uh, pic.png pic.png uh, the file i'm going to rename that file as uh, let's say let's have a copy to the desktop it's in the documents this is file example i'm going to copy this and paste this in the desktop let's go to the desktop and paste it right it should be here somewhere yeah then i'm going to rename this file as uh, hello.txt a simple extension right now you have two things <coughs> that is this uh, pic.png and hello.txt <coughs> sorry pic.png and hello.txt let's read both files now okay let's read both files now i'm going to the first file file number one is i'm going to open open and open the file in the desktop so currently what is my location you can see it here currently i am in users the sony langena documents right can you see this part currently i am in users the sony langena documents okay and i just want to go to the desktop desktop is there when i go to the desktop you can see it is here you can see it is inside users, then the Sony Langella. Inside that you have desktop. Users, the Sony Langella desktop. So either I have to tell, tell the uh, full path. Full path means I have to give open the file in users. The Sony Langella desktop. There you have this peak.png file. Please open that file as a binary file, read in binary. I'm telling you, please open that as a read binary, RB file. That is the file mode. The second thing is file number two. That I'm going to open as, <coughs> that is hello.txt. And I'm going to just read that. And finally, I'm going to print the content of F1 and print F2 both. I'm going to print F1 and F2. Let's run the file and see whether it does the task. And you can see something wrong. RB is not defined. So I have to give it this inside the quotation. Sorry, it's my mistake. The reading mode should be given inside the quotation. Run it again and you can see now. Okay, the first file it says the buffer reader, then the second one also. So mode R and encode US ASCII. ASCII means a text file. <coughs> first file is not telling the type, the second file is telling that is ASCII, American Standard Code for Information Interchange. So that is uh, basically a text file. So how I'm going to read, I have to execute the command read, right? Read. Here also I have to tell, please read this. Okay, I'm reading both files now and print in the content. The first one is just reading the pointer. The second one is reading the content. And you can see the first content is printed. The first content is printed. Sorry, second content, eh? second content is printed. Hello, print hello, that is printed. But uh, you can see squeezed text, uh, 279 lines. Lines, this is the six. Squeeze, click on Here you can double click on that and expand. And now you can see the picture. Can you see the picture? Hello. Hello, sir. Can you see the picture? No. What is this? These are hexadecimal or the byte values. 
these are called byte values of the image this is image actually this is image but these are byte values this is binary no so you'll get the byte values so binary means you get the byte values of the text and this is how it read the picture this is how it read the picture okay so but text it won't take much effort just reading the text as this okay you can just write the example and the note related to this and you can try to read the files and next day right i will stop from here please write i will stop from here next day i'll discuss what to do with this file reading and writing and how to write a file how to edit a file right how to dynamically write content that i'm going to explain in the next day so we have just started the topic next day i'll explain this part you can just try at home just try to read different different files and find whether the file is text or binary you can just apply this Okay, so please write down and I'm going to stop from here.